Hey everyone, welcome to World of Tanks with Stewie JP. I'm Stewie JP and this is my first video. Not just my first World of Tanks video, my first video ever. So let us know what you think after you've watched it. Hope you enjoy and feel free to leave some comments underneath the video. I'm a 40 year old Aussie guy who loves playing World of Tanks. Um, I'm not definitely not the best player in the world. The, um, if you're interested in statistics, my win rate currently is sitting on just over 47.5%, but my recent games are a lot better than that. A lot of that's down to the fact that it took me a long time to work out how to play this game. Uh, I had no idea what camouflage was or cover, and you know, my first few thousand games I played like a real noob. As well as that, the internet connection, which is not unusual in Australia, was ADSL2, which often resulted in a really bad internet performance. In the last month or so, or six weeks, I've upgraded to cable internet, which in my, in my opinion is the way to go, especially in my area anyway. The ADSL2 was just so unbelievably laggy. You know, every now and then you'd, you'd get some good gameplay, but having... Um, you know, any kind of consistent, steady connection was out of the question. Any any kind of bad weather and the game was just unplayable. But enough of excuses. I've um, I watch a lot of videos on YouTube. I'm a shift worker, so sometimes at night shift I can get away with doing that. And I often play at odd times of the day. This tank uh, is a Jag Panther 2. It's got a tier 10 gun, which is really, really good. It's, it's, it's um. The original reason I, I got it is because every time I came up against one I couldn't penetrate the bloody thing. So oh, I got one, people don't seem to have any problem penetrating me in it, but um, it's, a, it's a good fun tank to drive. I make a bit of a mistake here, I've sort of gone a little bit too far, I haven't been able to get back up on the ridge to the usual sniping spot for tank destroyers, so I just do a bit of off-road driving and try to get myself down to a, a better position. So while I'm trying to find that better position, I'll tell you a bit about the mod pack I'm using. I'm using Quickie Baby's mod pack, which is a relatively simple mod pack, uh, which shows the last place the tank's been spotted on the map, um, as well as it keeps a bit of a running total of, of how much damage you've, you've done, as well as display statistics for, for each player on, on, on both sides. I try not to make take too much notice of um, player statistics simply because you know I don't I really don't want it to affect my gameplay so often you see people have a look at the chance of win the chance of win rate and it's just it's, it's just not accurate it's just um, it's not an accurate percentage so there's no use no no need to make um, that affect your gameplay there's a bit of a bug in the replay about now that is3 um, when I was playing, there was no hill there, so I don't know if there's been map changes and that in the gameplay, but um, in the replay, sorry. So, but anyway, that's just a bit of a, a quirk of of the week. replays, I guess. Now this T69 is shooting me from behind. I haven't spotted him yet, but he's around there somewhere. He, end, he ends up playing a really good game. If he's watching, Tom Catlin, well done. In the T69, he had a really good game. The, um, so it's just me and the Comet up here now. The others have been sort of taken away, but we've still got a comfortable lead. So I'm heading up to the train tracks to do a little bit more, a bit of play a little bit more aggressively. You can see in the southeast, we sort of have got the numbers in the southeast. Which it's quite a few of our tanks compared to them. And so I think it's time for me to get a little bit more aggressive and, and start moving forward. Just looking for another place to snipe at the moment, going up here near the railway lines. Maybe try and take out that Jag Tiger and, and bear in mind that T69 has already had a pretty good start to the game. So I find this spot just here with the bushes between the two mounds of dirt. And I'm just a little bit early or too late to shoot that tank, but get right into the T69, which is probably the most dangerous player on the other enemy side. Again, I'm looking for the the T26E4, which is a super Pershing from memory. I'm trying to poke my head out a little bit, but 
yet again I go a little bit too far forward and get spotted I don't have a shot on that Jag Tiger 8.8 there so it's time to move because that T69 is shooting me yet again and as I jump off the hill the loader gets killed so I've got to fix the loader up and move up underneath this little roller coaster ride. So I'm under the roller coaster and just a little bit late. Just missed him. But it's alright, we still have the numbers, we're still comfortably winning this game. And the guys on the other side are doing really good job. So again, I think it's time to move. There's only four tanks left. One's a light, one's artillery. That Type 69 has already got four kills and he's, he's slowly chipping away at our guys in the south. So just out of the way of artillery. I love it when that happens, when you just move and artillery blows blows up just where you've been. Or hits just where you've been. So he's just taken out our Type 59. It's time to take a little bit of evasive action and try and get a little bit more damage before the end of the game. I crash into a dead tank, which stops me being able to shoot him. You can just hear his tracks going off as he's landed down there, so it's time to follow him and do a big kamikaze banzai! Oh! Of course, it was the end of the game. We've got the game won, so I thought I'd do something silly. And a bit of good-natured banter on the on the chat. Shout out to him, Tom Catlin in the T69. You had an awesome game. You've got a top gun. Well done. If you're watching, good job. And that brings an end to my first YouTube video. I hope you did enjoy it. Uh, please feel free to leave any comments down the bottom and uh, enjoy your games. Bye for now.